Tell me about the day when you just heard that option. Um, well, the day it was kind of like it, it was several days. You know, when Nick Osborne first read it, and I was the first producer that kind of believed it could be a movie, was a big day. And then when Alan Coulter, you know, you hear these names surrounded, and then Robert Pattinson, we was cast before Twilight. And then ultimately, kind of the actual like day I got the call of you know movies going. The thing about making a movie is you're kind of always waiting until for like the other shoe to drop and it all to fall apart. And we didn't find M until three weeks out. So I mean, you're still kind of thinking like. All right, it's, it can't really happen, you know? So there, there were several days of kind of these surreal moments, but really the first day on set was the day that the cameras were there and you kind of stopped and looked around and you were like, all right, this is uh, really happening. And you're also writing The Lucky One, and adaptations. Yes. Can she find to be a little more easier along like, what you'd like to do? Is it original or adaptive? I mean, I love to read, and I, I think when I read a book, you play out your own movie in your head, and, and I think I have a, the muscle for adaptation. I've definitely, like, I'm able to kind of break down a story and, I, and understand that translating it to the film is not necessarily about, like, deciding what to stay or go, but trying to find a way to convey what's what's on the page of a novel through images. And so I'm good at adaptation, but I just finally had my first, uh, I, I wait for my original ideas. And I, I had my next original idea, like, three weeks ago. So I'm going to work on that this year. And, uh, uh, I, not yet, not yet. I'd say it's uh, it's not not that close to remember me, but strong characters. That's all I'll say. I really feel good about it. What's it like having your family sitting over there? I know, it's not all, all, all from the UK coming to. I think your brother wins the award for best dress tonight. You think he does already? He's already won the award for best dress. Yeah, no, that, that, that hurt. That hurts me and all hurt Rob. I'll tell Rob that later. But um, no, it's it's a really beautiful movie, and I think. I think people are gonna. I think it's got a lot of life lessons, you know, yeah. and um, hopefully it inspires people and gets people out there to. I don't think live in the moment, but you know, really take, you know, know that life's not forever, and you better, Absolutely. better go for it, you know. Yeah, that was crazy. We were warned. We were warned, and we didn't think it was going to be bad, but then. We, I mean, we thought it was going to be bad, but we didn't think it was going to be as crazy as it was. And the fans were never bad. It was the paparazzi were really, really tough. You know, it was tough for Rob with his, um, his fans. But I'll let you... Hey, darling. You should go home. I'm going to go home.